Hello, you are welcome. Here we want to solve for x in this nice algebra equation. From here, let's write this as 2 raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power x squared equals to 2 times 3. We can write 6 here as 2 times 3. Then, from here, let's separate this into fraction and we divide this side by 2 and also this side by 2 and uh, also we divide this side by 2 raised to the power x square and also this side by 2 raised to the power x square and here this we cancel out also 2 we cancel 2 here and what we left here we become 2 raised to the power x over 2 now equals to 3 over 3 raised to the power x square. And here from the law of indices, when we have a raised to the power n over a raised to the power n, this is the same thing as a raised to the power n minus n. So now let's apply this. So what we have here, the power here is 1, that's 2 raised to the power 1. Also the power here is 1. So here this becomes 2 raised to the power x minus 1. And equals to here we have 3 raised to the power 1 minus x squared. Then next, from here, we can take the log to base 3 on both sides. Take log to base 3 on both sides and we have log to base 3 of 2x raised to the power x minus 1 then equals to also log to base 3 here of 3 raised to the power 1 minus x squared and from the power law of log is in one we have log a raised to the power b this same thing as b log a so the power here we can take it to the back here so let's apply this here so the power here we take it down this become x minus 1 then multiply by log 2 then equals to similarly here we have this power can come to the back 1 minus x squared now log 3 base 3 log 2 base 3 here then in the next step when we have log a base a this will give us 1 on the law of log in so here log 3 base 3 here will become 1 and here this will become what we have here will be left with x minus 1 log 2 base 3 will then be equals to 1 minus x squared times 1 will still be 1 minus x squared so now from here we take everything on this side to this side and what we have here is x minus 1 log 2 base 3 then we now be plus x square then minus 1 equals to 0 and 1 here can also be expressed as 1 square and from here applying difference of two squares that this one we have a square minus b square the same thing as a plus b times a minus b so when we apply this here from here then this equation will become x minus 1 log 2 base 3 then plus here will become x plus 1 times x minus 1 which is equal to 0 then next 
from here we have x minus 1 x minus 1 that means that's common let's factor it out x minus 1 now into bracket what left here is log 2 to this 3 then plus what left here is x plus 1 x plus 1 then equals to 0 then from here the two cases we have will be x minus 1 equals to 0 or we have log 2 this 3 plus x plus 1 equals to 0 and on this side we have when we take minus 1 here we have x now equals to 1 from here and the other solution on this side we can take log 2 base 3 and 1 to the other side and this will give us x which will be left here equals to minus log 2 base 3 then minus 1 from there then we can rewrite this and this will be x equals to when we factor minus out this will be minus into bracket log 2 base 3 then plus 1 from here then we can also write 1 again as log 3 base 3 and this will become x equals to minus into bracket log 2 base 3 then plus log 3 base 3 as log 3 base 3 same thing as 1 then from here we apply the law of log again when we have log a base c plus log b base c this can be written shortly as log a b to base c on the law of log again so here we can write this now and this will be x equals to minus into bracket log 2 times 3 base 3 and then from here this will become x equals to minus log 6 base 3 so here we have another value of x in this given a problem and it means we have two solutions the first we got x equals to 1 and also we have x equals to minus log 6 base 3 and thank you for watching subscribe to this channel for more videos and turn the notification bell on also if you have any comment put it in the comment section thank you see you next class and bye for now